Yo, what's good? Damage Goods here. I'm Sonny. I'm Sako. Welcome to Damage Novellas. That's where we show you scenes from our favorite over-the-top soap operas. And you get to watch us butcher them with politically incorrect banter. On this episode, we're going to be reviewing the infamous Maldita Lisiada scene from the novella Maria La del Barrio. Uh, Itati Cantorada is my favorite novella crush. And Sako's her favorite disabled poster child. Alright Sako, you want to give him a quick rundown before we do this? Yeah, so basically Soraya here takes this 15 year old Ginger's V card, but he's really in love with her paralytic daughter. Alright, sweet, let's do this. This kid has the Ginger version of Javier Bardem's haircut and No Country for Old Men. Nandito! And he was probably born a woman. That's alright, dude. I look like Sinead O'Connor with implants on steroids. I guess milks are just a sub for him. So he likes disabled girls? Here's a good thing, at least if his sexual prowess is like nil, and he's got a pathetic little wee-wee, <laughs> at least she won't be able to feel it. <laughs> uh, oh dude, look, she's wearing braces because her mouth is crippled too. <laughs> okay, Dr. Kevorkian, fuck, you're an expert all of a sudden? What, just because I'm arming you? Don't even know what happened that story, yeah. Bro, she's getting all bent out of shape over some fucking ginger prepubescent chocolate ice. Chocolate. Yeah, what did I say? Chocolate. Yeah, same shit, whatever. It's like a woman possessed. Bro, she probably hasn't had a meal in three days, squeezed into a corset, only weighs 90 pounds, and she's still going ham on all of them. She's selling the scene like no other, bro. For the girl in a wheelchair. <laughs> She's just flailing around helplessly, too. You gotta kick! You gotta kick! Stand up with Spartan Kicker, dude. Come on, man. Look at her. She's just laying there. <laughs> bro, no fucks given, bro. She just slammed her fucking maid's head right through the Picasso. <laughs> right through the Picasso, bro. No fucks given. <laughs> oh, bro. I guess this fetish is shifted back to older woman, though. He's gonna try to take advantage of her while she's unconscious. <laughs> Look, she's like, help. Don't let them write me out of the series. I need this check to get out of Mexico. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, she's got scissors, but in her perfect tiny hands, they look like lawn clippers. 
Ve la sala a buscar. Look, I don't condone violence against women, but if you just Spartan style keep her, you will knock her in the fucking next room. What? You didn't see that? She was holding up the fucking scissors like this for 10 minutes. Bro, I don't know why he's crying either. He acts like that's his first ever period. Instead of trying to stab Raggedy Andy with a pair of fiskers, she should just cut off that awful red lettuce right off his dome piece, bro. <laughs> bro, she did like a chant too. She didn't even like grab a glass of white wine to chase it with. Just plug it up with a tampon already, pussy. No, he got stabbed in the arm. Why they gotta carry him out like that? Bro, they're, de they're treating him like some ginger martyr. All I have to do is just leave him out in the sun and the sun will take care of the rest. <laughs> She's all like, none of you motherfuckers better sue me for this. <laughs> That's fucking gangster. Soraya's gangster as fuck, bro. She's like, none of you gonna say shit. You're gonna say shit. <laughs>